Hello, welcome back to IT Land in a good course around Azure. So far, we spoke about you know uh, Azure structure, DNS, VNet subnets, ARM template. For today, we will be completing the course around NSGs and the ports and the default ports like allow inbound 65,000, then uh, Azure load balance uh, outbound, which is the tag allow again and anything else which will be deny all the bound these are default uh, ports you can see them yeah and this is for the virtual and which can be customized you know and the traffic priority will be from subnet level deny next level deny same thing applied to the outbound yeah so as your host receives traffic inbound traffic yes go to the NSG no load uh, load outbound NSG rules by priority get first rule does the rule match yes deny rule no last rule let me repeat as your host receive traffic inbound traffic yes load outbound NSG rule by priority if it's no if it's yes then load the inside yeah get first rule what's the first rule rule match yes Deny it. Allow packet. Yes. No. Drop packet. This is how it works. Please remember that one. It's very useful. Then we go to the uh, port internet. AT wildcard from the NSG. Cider for the RDP. Same thing to the back end. This is very basic high level. How it looks like. How that will work within the same NSG or different NSG. Tools, we go activity logs, management plan, diagnostic log through the JSON event rule and effective rules. You know, every 60 seconds getting collected for the event and then something like this here. Yeah? Event logging will look like. You can see the subnet, IPs, private endpoint and OS and so on. The tools you can leverage log analytics to analyze diagnosed logs. Network Watcher, you can utilize it to like examine VNet, IP, Next Hub, Flow, Logs, and then uh, similar to something like this, yeah. And then you go to Network Watcher, the IP flow, you can verify, check if the packet is allowed or denied from virtual network based on the five tuple information. We spoke about, you know, like source target IP, source, target, port, or VNet, or surface, okay? And then we can go to the NSG flow logs as well, which allow you to view information about ingress and egress, traffic through the network security group. And the last part is something like this. This is the almighty design. And you can see the on-premise going through a gateway. From the gateway, we have the VNet. And the VNet, I go my user defined routing, UDR, which will allow communication to my gateway load balancer. And NSG will sit outside at a VNet level. And I've got NSGs on my DMZ. And you can see availability set between two of them. And then I go my management subnet where I can place all my jump box and others. That's what I do. And then underneath it, I've got my public. Then we have the three layer like web tier, business tier, data tier. This is how we can divide it. So business tier, they have their own availability set on VM, on NSG, on application gateway. Data tier, on VNet, on availability set, on NSG. Basically, you can see the segregation. And if you have really crucial um, like information or application, and the data is classified, then imagine that three uh, on the right hand side boxes, it can we can have firewall between them. So I'll give an example, I've got my NSG, which is a lightweight, but I can have additional firewall or nothing and patting and doing additional stuff here. Yeah? But you can see the NSG is acting here like a fi three firewalls I have, allowing different ports, different IPs. Like for my web tier, won't be able to speak to my data tier. The only method for that one to work is going through the business tier 
And when you go to the business tier, I need to have the UDR, I need to have the path, I need to have the gateway, I need to allow it, and the source and target port. So you can see how, how granular we can go and how we control we can apply to make sure, you know, we replicate what we used to do when we had the old days on premise. So this is all what I had for you for today. Hopefully you have learned something useful around Azure. And next we will do a more technical deep dive into each component in more details rather than a high level one. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.